thanks to Oglarka Kapas being only the third best Hungarian. Let's move on to the men's 400 meters freestyle, in which we are going to have not less than five heats. This is heat one. Israel, Ireland, and San Marino represented in this heat. The two Irish in lanes four and five, both of them under four minutes. Their entry times being four, uh, three fifty-four and three fifty-five, respectively. And in lane three, we have uh, Ron Polonski from Israel with a 4.02 entry time to his name. But looking at his stroke, I would say that it's going to be under four minutes for him as well. We are at the 100 meter mark and Robert Powell from Ireland is in first position. Of course, when we talk about 400 meters, that is never about the first 100 meters. It is about endurance and speed. One of the most difficult races to swim. The 400 meters freestyle. It is still Robert Powell in first, Polonski in second position. The other Irish, Daniel Wiffen, currently swimming the fastest laps. So he may get closer by each stroke to the leading two. And at the halfway turn, it is already Wiffen in the lead. 153. The 200 meter split time for Daniel Wiffen, who does not stop. Once again, a very strong 50 meters by him. And moving away from Powell and Polonski. Sub 29 seconds. 50 meters split by Wiffen. And he is building on his lead right now. Two years ago in Copenhagen, this event, uh, in this event, it took 342.9 to qualify for the finals. Once again, it is 400 meters, so we are talking about direct qualification to the finals. The fastest eight will go through to tonight's finals. And Griffin is well, still in front with only 50 meters to go, but he is fading away. Can he hold on to that lead in the final 30 meters or so? Less than a body length now his advantage over compatriot Powell in four. With only 15 meters to go, Wiffen, Powell and Polonski in this first heat of the 400 meters. And Wiffen can hold on to the lead and takes this by a time of 350.91. He had an entry time of 355. So quite an improvement by him and also by Powell and Polonski. All three of them well under four minutes. Boris Bianchi from 
San Marino in fourth position, beating his entry time by eight one hundredth of a second. Well done, Irish boys. So it's time to move on to our next heat. We will have the big guns coming up in the final two heats. So in heat number four and five. In this one, in the second one, just Denis Loktev from Israel in lane four. His entry time is 3.46. Point six. In this heat, we have one most of the swimmers under 3.50, at least according to their entry times. Locker in four, then Pitt Brandenburger from Luxembourg. And five. And the fastest so far is down in lane seven. Robin Hansen from Sweden. One would expect these guys to swim well somewhere around 345 or so. Maybe even better than that. But that should not be enough for qualification for the finals. Still Hansen setting the early pace, 53.03, which is almost two seconds faster than Daniel Wiffen was in the previous heat. Also looking strong. This is uh, in lane six, Jön Jönfett from Norway. He takes the lead by one tenth of a second ahead of Robin Hansen. There's a long way to go. Still not at the halfway mark yet. Up in lane number one, Martin Bau from Slovenia, who is currently in the lead together with uh, Jun Junfeld. This is the halfway turn. Under 150 split by the Norwegian, followed by Bau and Hansen. Whereas Loktev, there's Brandenburger. Well, they are way behind in the middle lanes. And currently it is Martin Bau who has the quickest splits in the field. Starting to move away from Jönfett. A sub 28 split, so change of pace by the Slovenian at the halfway turn, and now moving away. Clearly up in front, with just a little more than 100 meters to go for Martin Bau, who had an entry time of 348.7. can easily be under that with only 75 meters to go. Jön Fett still in second and Robin Hansen from Sweden in third position. So final 50 meters of this 400 meter swim and in the meantime Hansen took second spot away from Jön Fett. They're going to battle it out for the second position in this final 30, minute, uh, 30 meters. With Martin Bau easily taking the second heat in the 400 meter men's freestyle. His winning time is going to be an impressive one. 341.98. I told you he had an entry time of 348.7, so quite an improvement by Martin Bau. 
amazing swim by the Slovenian. And, uh, well, he can still hope on qualifying for the finals, even if there are three more heats to go. Remember, last time it took 342.9 to qualify. So Martin Bau, <laughs> incredible swim. Even himself cannot believe it. So he is faster than what it took two years ago to go through to the finals. Let's wait and see. Remember, three more heats to go, 30 swimmers. This is heat number three. Mikkel Katkord from Denmark in lane 4, his entry time a 344.4. But also keep an eye on uh, Thomas Dean from Great Britain. He is in lane 5 and he is the early leader. And also Gabor Zambori down in lane number eight. He was the world junior champion this summer in Budapest. Just some three months ago, he won the title in front of home crowd. That was quite an impressive and surprising win by Gabor Zambori. Still in the lead, Thomas Dean. And, uh, looking strong in lane number three, Lukas Mertens from Germany. The fastest in the field right now is uh, Mikkel Gottgord, the Danish in lane four, who is catching up with uh, Dean as we get close to the 200 meter mark. This is Dean Gadgord and Mertens. Just a few tenths of a second separating those three. And they are swimming pretty much the same pace as uh, Martin Bell in the previous heat. Let's see who decides to make a move after the halfway turn. It's still Dean and Cotford in one and two. But also strong down in lane number nine, Jose Paulo Lopez from Portugal. So we are getting close to the final 100 meters, and Thomas Dean makes a move and pulls away from Godford. Lopez already in third position. Dean with a 28.1 split. He seems to be strong. Nice technique by him. With only 50 meters to go, great swim by Thomas Dean. So the final 50 meters. Dean clearly up in front, got Gordon in second. And Zambori, the junior world champion, is in third position right now. The winning time is going to be just outside 341 with Godward second and uh, 
Jose Paulo Lopez finishing third. Just beating out Gabor Zomburi from Hungary. The winning time by Thomas Dean, a little bit stronger than Martin Bau from the previous heat. Oh, that's not a touch. <laughs> the coach is like. You have to stick your head down until the moment you touch the wall. It can cost you a few tenths of a second if you have a touch like that. Heat 4 is coming up and the heat is on as we have two Italians, Gabriella Detti and Matteo Ciampi swimming in lane 4 and 3 and also Poland's Wojciech Wojdak in the mix. He is on lane number 5. Detti, the European champion from last year here in Glasgow, long course. He was Olympic bronze medalist, world championship bronze medalist, and also short course world and European championship bronze medalist. He is the early leader ahead of Jan Michka from the Czech Republic and Matteo Ciampi. Expect these guys to swim well, well beyond the 40. But also, they have to spare some energy for the finals of this event. Gabriela Detti and Matteo Ciampi, both of them have to push hard to avoid being overtaken by those two Italians. And yeah, they do push hard. Ciampi taking the lead now, and of Detti, with Mitska and Vojdak in position three and four. Halfway there, it is still Champy ahead of Detti, and those two are well ahead of the rest of the field. 148.1, which is a lot stronger, of course, than what we've had in the unseeded heat. So the first 3 1, almost two full seconds faster than Thomas Dean was in the previous heat. And now Detti takes the lead, but only by four one hundredths of a second ahead of compatriot Matteo Ciampi. He can, I think, be very grateful for Detti swimming right next to him, helping him to swim a good time and to qualify for the finals and to beat out the next two Italians. In the final heat of the 400 meter freestyle. 100 meters to go, only three hundredths of a second separating those two. And we may call it synchronized swimming, right? Slightly ahead of Jumpy, it is Gabriella Detti, with only 50 meters to go. Jan Mitska in third position right now. And that is going to take this. Most probably. Let's not rule out a great turn by Champi. But no, it does not seem like he could overtake Gabriela Detti, the reigning long course European champion of the 400 meters freestyle. So Daddy takes it, and Jumpy also well below 3.40. However, Anton Nikitin in lane 6, finishing third, the time of 
is slower than what we've seen from um, Thomas Dean and also from Martin Bow in the previous heats. So those two have quite a good chance now for qualifying. High five, Detty and Chumpy. See you in the finals. That's what they are hoping for. But we still have this final heat in the men's 400 meter freestyle. With Danas Rapsis in lane four, he is the world short course champion of the event. Dennis wraps is in four, Henry Christiansen from Norway in five, and Vyacheslav Andrushenko from Russia in lane number three. Those are supposed to be the fastest in this field. Well, not at the 50 meter turn, because it is Stefan Sorak from Serbia, the early leader ahead of Dennis Rapsis and another Hungarian, Balash Holo. A world junior champion in the relay, who by 200 meter relay two years ago in Indianapolis. And the 100 meter mark is going to be Holo first, ahead of Sorak and Rapsis. Their pace, pretty much the same as was Detti's in the previous heat. We're still waiting for Henrik Christiansen to show up. Right now he's only down in sixth position. And playing number five with the blue cap, that is Christiansen, the European silver medalist and the world short course silver medalist. Sorak Janchev Holo. And then Rapsis in fourth position. I would still expect Rapsis to be strong in the second part of the race and also Christiansen to make a move. Right now, it is Jordan Janchev from Bulgaria, lane eight, who leads at the halfway mark. Christiansen down in sixth position, but now getting closer to Rapsis on one side and Holo on the other side of the pool. Clearly up in front now, Rapsis with uh, Jordan Yanchev fading away in this third hundred meters. Still looking strong, Stefan Sora from Serbia. This is where Christiansen has to make a move with 100 meters to go. And there he is already up in third position, the Norwegian. Very nice technique by the former backstroke swimmer, Danas Rapsis. Easily up in front with only 60 meters to go. Now Christiansen, together with Holo, might take the second spot in this final heat. And well, from now on, it is only a question of lane, in which lane Rapsis qualifies for the final. Remember that this time from the previous heat was 338.1 and this one is slower than that Christiansen second only two one hundredths of a second faster than 
Balázs Polo from Hungary. So an easy 3.39 by Rapsis, setting up a great match against Gabriela Detti in the finals of the 400 meters freestyle. Not surprisingly, Christiansen managed to grab the second spot and Balash Holo just outside. 340 taking third. Which means the total rankings are led by two Italians, Derry and Ciampi, followed by Rapsis, then Christians and Holo, David Opry from France, Sorak and Thomas Dean makes it to the finals of the men's 400 meter freestyle.